Asthma is a common chronic lung condition characterized by inflammation of the airways, increased mucus production, and bronchoconstriction. It causes symptoms of wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and coughing, particularly at night or early in the morning. Acute asthma attacks are often triggered by allergens, smoke, cold air, gastroesophageal reflux disease, strong emotions, and air pollution. Helping an individual to recognize and avoid their triggers is crucial for effective management of asthma. Severity of symptoms varies widely across individuals. Symptoms can also vary over time for an individual based on their exposure to triggers and how well their symptoms are managed with medications. Clients are diagnosed on a spectrum ranging from mild intermittent asthma to severe persistent asthma, and this classification is used to guide medical treatment. Individuals with mild intermittent asthma are symptom-free between episodes, whereas individuals with severe persistent asthma have daily symptoms and are at risk for life-threatening severe asthma attacks. Asthma can emerge at any age due to a combination of genetic and environmental elements. Risk factors for asthma include family history of asthma or allergies, exposure to tobacco smoke or other environmental pollutants, viral infections in early childhood, and obesity. Diagnosis involves lung function tests such as spirometry and peak flow readings to assess the airflow and asthma severity. Allergen testing helps identify specific triggers. Methicoline challenge tests may be performed if other tests are not conclusive. Clients are taught how to use peak flow meters at home to monitor the severity of their asthma symptoms compared to their personal best readings and use this information to self-manage their medications based on their asthma action plan. Because asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways with recurrent exacerbations, medication therapy focuses on long-term suppression of inflammation to prevent exacerbations. The goal of medical therapy is to control asthma symptoms with the least amount of medications required. A stepwise approach to medication therapy is used based on the client's currently diagnosed level of severity. Medications are increased as needed to prevent symptoms and decreased when possible to prevent side effects. Treatment of an asthma episode includes administration of quick-acting medications like albuterol or iprotropium to provide immediate bronchodilation. Medications used for long-term prevention of asthma symptoms include inhaled corticosteroids or combination inhalers like fluticasone and salmeterol to reduce airway inflammation and promote long-acting bronchodilation. Leukotriene modifiers may also be prescribed to prevent asthma episodes triggered by allergens. Acute treatment of severe asthma episodes often requires treatment in an emergency department and typically includes administration of oral or IV corticosteroids in addition to bronchodilators administered by nebulizer. Oxygen therapy may be needed to maintain adequate oxygenation levels until airflow is improved and the severe episode is relieved. Status asthmaticus is a severe, life-threatening asthma attack that is unresponsive to standard treatments such as rapid-acting bronchodilators and corticosteroids. It is a medical emergency that requires immediate intervention by a rapid-response medical team. Status asthmaticus during an asthma attack is characterized by rapid and labored breathing, decreased mental alertness, cyanosis, and minimal or no breath sounds heard on auscultation due to lack of airflow. It may require intubation and mechanical ventilation if other treatments are not effective. Nurses play a pivotal role in helping clients learn how to self-manage their asthma care and prevent asthma attacks. They teach clients how to use their prescribed medications, recognize and avoid triggers, and manage anxiety during asthma attacks. Nurses also teach clients how to use their asthma action plans to effectively manage this chronic condition and reduce the risk of status asthmaticus. Lifestyle modifications include minimizing exposure to triggers as well as receiving annual influenza and COVID vaccinations to prevent respiratory infections that can trigger severe asthma attacks. Goals for managing asthma include effectively controlling symptoms, preventing asthma attacks, and enabling patients to lead normal, active lives. Success is measured by improved lung function measured by peak flow readings, as well as the reduced need for visits to the emergency department. In conclusion, managing asthma requires a comprehensive approach that includes medical treatment, patient education, and lifestyle adjustments. Nurses are integral to this process, providing support, education, and care to help individuals with asthma achieve optimal health outcomes.